Okay, so in this video, I am going to uh, teach you how to use the Microsoft Excel in calculating the values of the mean, the median, the mode, the range, the uh, variance, the standard deviation, the coefficient of skewness, and the coefficient of kurtosis. Okay, so let us consider the data here, which are the scores of students in their quiz from a certain subject. So first, let us look for the mean, okay? Equals, let us uh, encode average. Take note that the other term for mean is average. Okay, open parenthesis and we drag our cursor from D1 down to D23. Close parenthesis, and there we have our mean, it's 73.95. The mean can be computed by getting the sum of all these measurements divided by the number of measurements, okay? We just get the sum of all these measures or data divided by number of data. Whereas for median, we have, okay, again, we drag it from D1 down to D23, close parenthesis, equals. We have 80. So the median is the value at the center of the distribution when the data are arranged from highest to lowest or from lowest to highest. Make sure that we arrange first our data set before we identify or determine our median value, okay? So in this case, uh, we have 23 scores or data, and then we divide that by two, we have 11.5, approximately 12 placer, okay? So that the 12 placer should be our median value. That the value in the 12 place is our median value, okay? Mode is the measurement having the highest frequency. The measurement having the highest frequency or the most popular data or measurement, okay? So if we say most popular, it must have the highest frequency among other measures in the data set. So we have, okay? It's 78. Let us see. Do we only have one mode here? 78. There are two. Ah, 65. We have also another mode, which is 65, having the same frequency as 78. So we call this as bimodal. Next is the range. The range can be computed by the highest score minus the lowest score. Since our data set is arranged from highest to lowest, then we can immediately, we can easily identify our highest such as 96 and our lowest such as 12. And we have 84, okay? And then the variance, sample variance can be found in this uh, Excel as var s, var s, okay? var dot s okay so again we drag it from d1 down to d23 and close parenthesis equals 401.6798 okay uh, in the standard deviation we have st dev if we are referring to sample then we have st dev S, okay? We have stdev.s there. We have 96 down to 12, close parenthesis equals 20.04195. Okay, just to check whether our variance and standard deviations are correct or having this uh, correct values, we take the square root of the variance and we compare it to the standard deviation. Okay, or 
We square our standard deviation and we compare it to the variance. Take note that standard deviation is just the square root of the variance or the variance is just the square of the standard deviation, okay? And second to the last is the coefficient of skewness, okay? The abbreviation of skewness in this uh, Microsoft Excel is skew. So we have skew, okay? Again, we drag it from D1 down to D23, close parentheses, equals, it's negative 1.67423, okay? And the coefficient of kurtosis is abbreviated as curt. So we have, okay, 3.33. The skewness determines the normality of the data set and the kurtosis determines the thickness or the flatness of a certain uh, distribution. Okay.